Hey, what's up guys? This is Boxing Kangom here and today we are going to look at the potential fight between Philip Herkovich and Joseph Parker. So, after former IBF mandatory challenger Kubrat Pulev lost his shot at the title after being knocked out by Anthony Joshua, it left the next in line sitting at the top of the IBF rankings, Charles Martin, waiting basically on the IBF to make a final eliminator against the next top rated guy. So at that time it was Michael Hunter and I believe Charles Martin and his team they didn't want any of that smoke so that fight was scrapped and that left the next in line Philip Herkovich. So now the IBF called Philip Herkovich versus Michael Hunter so discussions began for that fight. It ended up going to purse bids. The purse bids got postponed. You know, it just kept dragging on. Now we've just learned the past few days that Michael Hunter has pulled out to face an unactive cruiserweight on the Lopez versus Cambosis thriller undercard. A guy that goes by the name of Mike Wilson. And I have not heard of him either. So again, back to the next in line, and that is Joseph Parker. Now, Philip Herkovich versus Joseph Parker is a very good fight, and at this time, a very interesting one. I believe right now it's a 50 50 matchup and a fight Parker should take. I say this because, you know, most of us would have seen Parker's last fight against Derek Jesora, a fight that the majority of people me included, you know, thought should have been a loss for Parker. So when an opportunity like this is presented, in my opinion, I think Joseph Parker should jump at it. I'm not saying I don't rate Herkovich because I do. I believe, you know, Philip Herkovich is one of the best up and coming heavyweights going around at the moment and one that could, you know, have the potential to upset one of the top two in Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua in the future, you know, if given the chance. But why I think Parker should take this fight is he should really be coming off a loss. As much as, you know, as much of a gamble as this fight is, he shouldn't be in the position for it really anyway. Even if Parker was to lose against Herkovich, it's not the end of the world for Parker. Like, he could revisit the Chisora fight. I mean, there's... A lot of solid fights out there he could make, you know, be matched up with and make very good money. You know, Joseph Parker versus Tony Yoka, Otto Wallen, you know, a rematch with Andy Ruiz, Dillian White. I mean, I think Joseph Parker is the kind of fighter that will fight anyone. I mean, he'd have been a lot lower down the pack if he lost to Jisora, like he should have really, but again... Parker should jump at this opportunity. I personally think it's a 50-50 fight. What do you guys think? Excellent. Yeah. Good. Oh.